Hi guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I would like to show you how you can squeeze and use Blender files from robots. 3D Pack, which we created and it's totally free. But first thing first, uh, I will show you what is currently in the pack, but if you want to see what is like the new update or whatever, go to 3D.design cartoon robot. There you can see that uh, what, what is new, maybe some, you know, more poses or there will be more animations or whatever. So definitely go to 3D.design. If you want to see more our 3D libraries, go to 3D.design, click on 3D libraries and you can see that we have characters, illustration hands, emojis, emoticons, icons and so on. The cool thing is that they work together as a huge design system. You can combine them together and they will you can easily create the scenes. And these packs are huge, they're huge and uh, yeah, they will serve all of your use cases. We have also lifetime deal if you want to have an unlimited access to the future packs. So that's, uh, this is why the lifetime deal is good. You will get everything now and everything in the future. Check it out. There is a huge 60% discount right now. Okay, let's go. If you are new in the Blender, definitely go to our YouTube channel. Like you will see our really frequently asked questions in Blender, like how to navigate in Blender, how to change the color of the object and so on. So I will skip all of these things so I'm not repeating myself. Okay, so you just open the Blender and uh, you see the robots here. So what we can do here? The cool thing is that uh, in the timeline here we have the poses, so you don't have to play with them and to do, do them. I uh, see it's working nicely. Then you need to go, you can go to pose mode. You have the auto keying on. It means that it will create a keyframe and the timeline, and you can change whatever you want. I'm in the pose mode, and then I need to hit G, G and I need to move left or right. The same, you know, it, I'm basically changing the eyes. I can change the eyes like to this or to money, you know, or stars, or I can turn them off. Okay, the same thing with the, in the pose mode, I'm clicking on the slider here and I can change uh, how, like what is the mouth look like. I can smile, I can have A, you know, you can make, thanks to this, you can make uh, like maybe to talk like talkative robot and you can use it in Unity or whatever you want to. Okay, so this is important. Then once I have it, you see that uh, when I change the pose, it's it changed. If you want to start like, in case you want to change like the objects, you can go and uh, click keyframes on all of these things or just turn them off. You know, once you clear the keyframes here, uh, it won't be shown if you don't want to and so on. So this is how you can play with that and then customize. But uh, let's go, you know, now I hit the poses. So important part is uh, in, the, in the animation tab. I am again in the pose mode, animation tab and here I can change the poses easily. So I'm the eighth keyframe, I need to go to eight pose and it will work nicely. And I see that uh, these eyes need a little help, but it's not nothing hard to do. Again, I'm in the pose mode and with the G, I'm moving with it. If I want to change a pose slightly, I need to use G for move, R, you know, for the rotation. And if you want, you can use S, for scaling <laughs> and you can have like different robots. Okay, so this is it, how you can change the mouth, eyes, poses. Then if you want to customize, you know, for some reason you want to play and to see the rig, then you can play with the, you know, with the bones. But uh, for some reason you want to have, for example, details for the fingers. So I'm going to item, then to rig layers, and then you can just change it, right? Okay. Um, uh, we have another video which is about the uh, I key inverse kinematics and F key forward kinematics. So I think it's I'm linking it here. So definitely go and check it out because you know uh, there are like two ways how you can play with the rig and how you can change it and also like uh, this is how you can basically move. You see that I can move the last bone and everything will move or I'm just moving uh, the bones and this is how I'm changing it. Okay, so here, once you want to use F key or I key, this is how you can, can play. This is it. 
You see, I, I, I'm changing to from I key to F key. Now I am your schematics. Okay, so this is it. Definitely go to and check the video if you want to learn more. Okay, so yeah, this is how you can play and to animate it and to make the things. You know, if you want to change the colors or whatever you want to, just go here, click on this uh, material properties, go here because you are using the textures, you don't want to use them or you want to change them. Use file from current directory. Let's find where is the, the file. Let me just check it for now. I'm going to locate it on my... Okay, so here it is. Now, when you see I have the, the texture, if I do whatever change here, you see that, uh, for example, I don't know, here you can change the colors. You just need to go to Photoshop. Let's go jump to the Photoshop and to see how it works. Okay, now I'm in the Photoshop. Let's bring it here. Let's select the color. And with easy way, I can turn it a little bit. I don't know, let's, let's have it black. Oh, let's see how it will look like. Like grayish. Now I need to. I need to save it, it will take a lot of time. Now I need to go back, you see that this is uh, what I have, like the, the texture. If I want to change it, I need to locate it. Voila, this is how you can change it. The same you can do here. Again, material properties. Here you need to unpack it, and then you can change it in Photoshop, whatever. And you have different color. This is how cool is that. Okay, so. This is how you can, you can play with that. If you want to change the colors of the objects, nothing easier than just go click on the in the object mode. The cool thing is that you can combine it with our other 3D libraries. You just need to go to 3D, the design to find the 3D libraries and you can bring multiple of them and to create some fun stuff. Uh, for example, let's jump like to robots. And let's see, for example, here, this combination of the illustrations, animals and the robots or here, characters and robots, here are just like Mario's robots together and so on. So you can easily create the brand, animations and whatever you want to. So everything what is done here is done in Blender and Blender is free. Okay, so that was it. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at Samuel at 3D.design. If you want to learn more about our 3D packs, go to 3D.design if you want you know, discuss whatever question you might have in our Discord server. And hey, don't forget to give us like and subscribe and, you know, comment below whatever you think about the video. Have a great day and bye.